This is a typical, uh, relatively difficult level two physics problem that involves two variables. Um, a variety of different situations, but in this one you have a gun that fires a bullet. And the velocity of the bullet is approximately 200 meters per second. The bullet travels, it strikes a wall, and then it creates a sound, and the sound wave comes back to you, and the velocity of the sound is about 340 meters per second. The total time for this event is in, uh, let's say, four seconds. What's the distance? How far does the bullet travel? Well, you look at the two equations and you realize that the bullet will travel uh, for a period of time. It strikes the wall and uh, uh, the velocity, the sound, will travel for uh, another period of time. So we've got two variables, t and t primed. We don't know what to do with t and t primed. And uh, so what we have to do is look at the equation and find something that's similar. In this case, the distance traveled for both the bullet and the sound will be the same. So uh, if the velocity is equal to distance over time, uh, then uh, uh, distance is equal to velocity times time. So we can set the distances equal to each other. So the velocity of the bullet times the time of the bullet is equal to the velocity of sound times the time of sound. And we don't, um, you know, once again, we got two variables. What do you do with that? We do know that the sum of times is four seconds. So velocity of the, uh, or time of the bullet plus the time for sound is equal to four seconds. And the solution is to define one of our variables in terms of the other. So let's define the, the time for the bullet. And so we've got to get rid of the time for sound. And so we say the time for the bullet is equal to, subtract time from sound both from both sides, is 4 seconds minus the time for sound to travel. So um, that's the time for the bullet. If we wanted to define the time for sound, we'd say have to um, get rid of time for bullet. We say the time it takes for the sound to travel is equal to four seconds minus the time for the bullet. So we've defined the time for the bullet in terms of time for sound and time of the sound in terms of time for the bullet. So let's go ahead and substitute, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm going to substitute in time for sound on this side of the equation. So I know the velocity of the bullet times t is going to be equal to the velocity of sound times sound times uh, 4 minus t. At this point I can substitute in some values and uh, and get some hard numbers to work with. So and I'm going to get rid of units. I know that I'm going to end up with uh, seconds for time and meters for distance. So I'm going to say 200 t is equal to uh, 340 times 4 minus t. Well, so 200t is equal to, let's see, 340 times 4 would be uh, 12, uh, 16, so 1360 times minus 340t. So uh, put all, combine the t's by adding 340 to both sides. I got 540t is equal to 1360 and then if I divide both sides by 540 I get my t equal to whatever that turns out to be 2 point something or else let's get the calculator out uh, 1360 divided by 540 could have dropped some zeros, 2.5 2.51 Now the problem's not done yet. We get time of 2.51. We still have to go back up and substitute it into our equation to find the total distance. 2.51 times 200 meters gives us a distance of uh, 502, so about 500 meters. 
340 times 4 minus 2 and a half, so that leaves you about 1 and a half. So that leaves you uh, 340 plus another 50, uh, so it's about 500 meters. So it's 500 meters one way, that would mean it's 500 meters the other way. Keep track of your steps.